Hello everyone. Well, it's another day and time to see what's in my advent box. Uh, let's lift the lid. I think it'll be related to vacuum cleaners, don't you? Let's see. Ah, we have in here quite an old Hoover brochure. Hoover cleaners. Now, I think this one dates from 1984. So this is probably older than a lot of you watching this video. And on the front cover, we've got the Hoover Turbo Power, which uh, to people who liked Hoover vacuum cleaners in the 80s, this was an iconic 80s design. Okay, let's open it up and see what Hoover cleaners were available in 1984 in the UK. Well, look, the first page we have a lovely lady dressed up to the nines for her housework, isn't she? And she's adjusting the air freshener on her top model. Very posh, this lady, because she's got the top of the range Hoover Turbo Power Autoflex. And that was the second vacuum cleaner I ever owned. Second brand new vacuum cleaner I ever owned. Very nice, very powerful cleaner. And this is the first page. It's got the index. So I've got upright cleaners, suction cleaners, handheld cleaners, wet and dry cleaners, and range specification. And there's a little group shot here showing the Burgundy Turbo Power, the Burgundy Sensotronic System 20, now, that reminds me of a Christmas in 1986. I'll tell you all about that in a minute when we get to the page. Anyway, let's have a look. What's on the first page? It'll be uprights and it's the Turbo Powers. Turbo Power, the most efficient carpet cleaner ever. And they really were very good machines. They still are. Excellent direct flow with Hoover's activator. So here's the mid-range model, the top-range Autoflex and the Turbo Power Junior with the soft bag, so that was the cheapest. And you've got the cleaning tools being shown here, the adjustable air freshener and the way it reactivates the fibres of your carpet. If you check my channel you'll see a couple of old TV commercials for the Turbo Powers. So, following on from the Turbo Powers, we have some more traditional Hoover uprights. The famous Hoover Junior, this one's double uh, model U1104. That particular style started with the U1036, I believe, and I'm going to be getting one of those very shortly, so stay tuned. It'll probably be early next year when you see that video. Here's the Power Plus which is basically the later version of the Hoover Senior. And this one is a Power Plus with dust cup, very rare nowadays. I had one of those, some brand new. I didn't really like it, to be honest. And at the time I thought, I wish I'd gone for the bagged version. It was very messy to empty. You had this plastic cup at the bottom and you had to unhook the fabric bag from the top and give it a really good shake until all the dust, well not all of it, but some of the dust and dirt fell into the dust cup. You waited a bit till the dust settled and then you released these two um, side pieces and you emptied that into the bin. It lost suction very quickly because the cloth bag just clogged up. There's a little picture at the bottom of the dust cup. Here we have the Hoover Shampoo Polisher. I had that model in brown and cream. Now I've got the a later one now, if you've seen on my channel, in white and they did the polisher on its own. I never saw a polisher in any shops. Most people would have gone for the shampoo polisher. I don't think it would have cost a lot more to have the shampoo facility. But there's the polisher. Let's have a look on the next page. Ah, oh, one of my favorites, favorite cylinder cleaners, the Sensortronics. This particular one I got as a, for a Christmas present and it was in 19... Ah, oh, now when was it? Actually, it was 84. I thought it was 86, but no, it was 1984 I got that. And the main reason I remember it was 84, I remember after all the Christmas, you know, hullabaloo and celebration and opening the presents, because I'm uh, the youngest of four boys, it was nice to retreat to your own private space. So, after everyone had opened their presents, we'd all take our bounty into our various rooms 
and have a close look. And I remember taking this Sensotronic System 20 up to my bedroom and playing with it and turning it on and adjusting the controls and making the lights light up. And the TV in the background was Mary Poppins and that was, I've checked with the Radio Times from that year, that was the first year it was shown on British TV. So it was 1984, yes, four. So I had that one. Uh, I think I had that one. I definitely had Total System 50 and I had System 30 as well. I'm pretty sure I got System 10. I never had Total System 40. Lovely mach machines, very 80s, but very big and very heavy, but very lovely. Made in France, the Sensotronics. And here we have another page showing the electrokinetic power head that was changed to the Turbo 300 power head a little bit later on, which I preferred. But um, that electrokinetic power head actually had the agitator for the Hoover Junior, so you could actually put, and I did do this, you could put a Hoover Junior agitator, the later Junior with the flat belt, it would actually fit in the electrokinetic power head. So you could have beats as it sweeps as it cleans action. Here's some more cleaners, they're made in France, same factory in Dijon as the Sensotronics, the Compacts. Uh, yes, I believe I had all of these ones. I've got that model now, actually. Um, I think I unbox I've unboxed one of those on my channel, but I had the Compact Super, my favourite, the Compact Total System with the electrokinetic power head. Very nice. So now we come on to some British-made suction cleaners. This is the Power Glide. I've definitely unboxed one of those on my channel, but the one I unboxed is the cream coloured one. I had the Freedom 1000 from New, don't have it anymore, but uh, it was okay, pretty decent. I've definitely unboxed that dust set, I've got one of those. Um, obviously I had it at the time, sold it, but uh, I got another one. And the Port Power, again I had that model, and uh, I've got other Port Powers now. But I had the original one there as well. And finally, we've got, I never had any of these. These weren't made by Hoover, these wet and dry power vacs. They were made by a company called ShopVac. And I think they were made in Ireland. So you have the standard one, wet and dry power vac, which had a metal bodied uh, container there and a blowing function on the top. This was a super model which was supposed to be quieter. I think they were both pretty noisy, but this was all plastic. Very, very rare to get hold of these nowadays. Um, I would love to have one. Um, I never, never owned from new. And at the back, we've got all the specifications, all the model numbers, the wattages. Now, if you look at the wattages here, you can see that the turbo powers had 410 watt motors, or 400 for the Turbo Junior, and you've got the Junior with a 300 watt motor, and the Power Pluses had a 400 watt motor, and then the most powerful wattage was available from the Sensotronics and the Freedom with a 1000 watt motor. The Sensotronic 10, System 10, had a 900 watt motor, and then you've got the Compacts with 800 watt motors, and the bottom mate, uh, range of Compact, the base model, had a 700 watt motor, and then you've got the port power dust step, and where they're made, and you can see all the uprights made in Britain, Sensotronics and Compacts from France, and Power Glide and Freedom of Britain. The Port Power Britain, the Dust Step made in Hong Kong, and the Wet and Dries made in Ayer. I think I pronounced that right, that's Ireland anyway. And the Shampoo Polisher and Polisher made in France. And on the back page, we've just got some details about Hoover's after sales service. So there we go. Hoover PLC Perivale Greenford Middlesex. So I hope you've enjoyed looking through that brochure with me. Tune in tomorrow, another day closer to Christmas, and I'll be showing you something else. So until the next time, bye for now.